In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Shalom Aleichem, peace be to you, dear friends. We are meditating on Advent. So, from December 1st till 25th, we decided to study about the parable of Jesus. There are many parables which Jesus said. So, we are finding out three meanings for each parable. The first is a spiritual meaning. The second is mundane, the worldly meaning. The third is comparing this parable with the present situation. Yesterday, I have asked you to read Matthew chapter 25 verses 14 to 30. Gospel of Matthew chapter 25 verses 14 to 30 for today's meditation. It is the parable of talent. You all know this parable, but still I want to read three or four verses from there so that I'll be able to explain it well. The first thing we read, verses 14, again, it will be like a man going on a journey who called his servants and entrusted his property to them. To one he gave five talents of money, to another two talents, and to another one talent, each according to his ability. Then he went on his journey. The man who had received the five talents went at once and put his money to work and gained five more. So also the one with the two talents gained two more. But the man who had received the one talent went off, dug a hole in the ground and hid his master's money. After a long time, the master of the servants returned and settled account with them. The man who had received the five talents brought the other five. Master, he said, you entrusted me with five talents. See, I have gained five more. His master replied, well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful with a few things. I will put you in charge of many things. Come and share your master's happiness. Please continue reading because this is very important for you to understand the talent well. Those days in Israel, when we say talent, it is a money count. One talent is equal to 15 years profit of a labor. Because one labor, one day gains one denara, one dirham. And if you count that way, 15 years, your hard work, your sweat, your labor, and your profit is one talent. And when it comes to five talent, it is five, 15 years. So it is a huge amount of money entrusted to someone five, someone two, someone one. But the person who got five, he he worked on it and he gained five more. Jesus was so happy or the master was so happy. I, I don't want to say Jesus. He was saying a story. Master was so happy. And he said, you share my pleasure. And not only that, I will give you more because you are faithful in little things. So I will hand over more things and great things. Now, let me explain the meaning in a mundane way, in a worldly way. It happens like this. When God created human beings, Every human beings he gave them some talents. It's not the talent, the money, but some talents. It can be like some people he give the talent of singing, some drawing, some writing, some preaching, you know, some to become scientist, some to become doctor, some to become engineer, uh, some to become good husband, some to become good counselor, uh, some to uh, become good spiritual leader, some uh, to become some other things, you know, builder, whatever it may be. Everyone has some talents which God entrusted in every human being. And he said, you must multiply it. You must use it for you and for others. You must do the business out of it. And you must earn and others also must profit. And if you keep doing it, one day the master will come who give you the talent and he will ask you the account. You must say that you give me power to sing and I sang this many songs. I gained this many money and I give peace to this many people. And from the money what I earned, I helped this many people. There should be an account to show to your master. And then he says, if you use this talent, then I will give you more. From the people, those who are lazy and not using their talent, I will take their talent and I will give to the people who are not lazy. 
who are hardworking and smart working. My brother and my sister, I don't know from where you are listening to me. But when you are preparing for the first coming of Jesus, the Christmas or the second coming of Jesus in your life. Remember, once if we come, the first question he will ask you about your talent. I have given you many talent by birth itself. What you have done with the talent? Sometime you may say that I did not use the talent because I was very lazy. I was taking drugs or alcohol and I was very lazy sleeping all the time. I didn't work. No. Sometime you may say that everybody says to sing. I don't know how to sing. No, you are wrong because the one talent, the last person whom God gave one talent, he was afraid of his master and he was ashamed of himself. So he hid the talent. And God was very angry on him because he blamed God. He says, I am afraid of you and I know that you can do everything. So why should I do something with this money? So hide that money. So my brothers and sisters, you may be able to sing one song or one line. But if you do not do that, then you are hiding your talent. And if you sincerely use that talent, then God will give you more talent. So God have given you a talent to build a small house. But if you are unfaithful, you may not build that house. But if you build that, then God will make you to use 100 houses. That's all. Any talent which is in you, if you use it, God will multiply it. If you do not use it, then and there it is over. And the master will be angry. Most of the time when I ask my friends, why can't you come with me to preach or to sing or to write or to draw or for any game? They say, I am afraid. I have never done it. I don't know how to do this fear is the problem with the last person to whom God gave one talent. Today, when you are preparing for Christmas, be accountable. If you have any talent, multiply it. Use it. When Jesus comes to your life, you must say that I have done it for you and for others. Any talent. It may be you may be a farmer and becoming a good farmer is a big talent. And if you do not use it properly, then God will question you. You know why? You must use the talent to earn money for you and to earn food for you the same way for others. If you are a farmer, you are feeding others too. This evening I had a coffee before recording this talk. When I got that coffee mug, I was thinking the mug is produced in some factory. I never knew them. And the uh, coffee powder is produced you know, by many farmers in many countries. I don't know from where they are. But anyway, their hard work is uh, sweat, uh, their sweat and hard work is uh, uh, what to say, health for me. So I thank them and I drank the coffee, my brothers and sisters. So someone else's talent is useful for you too. So you have to use the talent, then only someone else will benefit. So take a decision in this Christmas, I am going to use my talent maximum. And so far I did not use my talent, I was lazy, but Lord forgive me. That should be your first attitude when you are reading this parable. But when you read this parable, there is a spiritual meaning in it. Jesus was speaking to the Pharisees and Sadducees and the law leaders. They were very egoistic because they think that we are the smart people. All the law is given to us. God is only loving us. We are so close to God. You know that ego was there. So to them, God was speaking saying that I have given you many spiritual responsibility. Being a priest or being a law leader, being a Sadducee or Pharisee. I have given you many responsibility. That is your talent. Have you used it properly? In love and kindness and mercy to others. If you are not used. The talent what I have given you. I will take it. That may go to Gentiles. That may go to Suleiman. This is what happens today in the history. When we read in this, in this uh, parable. We see that the honor came after very late. It means after many years. You know what it shows? It is shows the second coming of Jesus. God have entrusted lot of talents in us. And he will come back. We were waiting last uh, 2021 years, maybe more years. We have to wait. One, one day he will come to ask about our talent. Are you ready to show your talent and how you did and what you did for the kingdom of God? And when Bible says that to the person who got the five talent and who gained ten talent, the Bible says that today you will enjoy with me. The owner says that my pleasure. So it is eternal heaven. I think the spiritual meaning when you look at this talent, see God give you some spiritual talents and if you use it properly, God asking you to share his pleasure in his abode or in his bosom or in his house, the eternal life. And the one person, the one who got one talent and who did not use it, he is not received and he is not welcomed there. 
he was thrown out that's what the parable says many times people say brother mario i am doing hard work i am doing smart work but i am unable to gain anything my friends they are very shrewd and they are getting lot of money i don't know i am not blessed well let me tell you according to bible if you are faithful in little things god will hand over big things and great things most of the people those who say that i am nothing i am zero you know god is not seeing me i think somewhere some unfaithfulness is there think about your talents if you are using your talent properly whatever it may be that talent god will bless you but if you are not using if you are only jealous of others those who are using and those who are growing then definitely you will not most of the people those who say some bad comment about good people remember they are very lazy bugs they don't want to do hard work and smart work and when they see some people are achieving what they are intending then these people feel jealousy so here remember you can get blessings only if you use the little blessings what is in your hand in a proper way so if you are faithful with the little blessings what you have god will give you more blessings and if you look at this uh, parable with the today's situation with the today's political situation i mean kerala the situation of kerala is this uh, you know every 5 years our government keep changing one time markist one time congress one time Mar Mar markist one time congress or in india one time congress one time bjp one time budget. It, it keep on changing the problem here one government you know they get a vision to build a bridge or to build some houses or to build whatever it may be a dam whatever it may be and they spend some money and bring this project but meanwhile some problem happens the other government comes up other party they ignore this project so what is happening every 5 years some good talents have been destroyed by the political authority by their own ego so we are not growing if you compare india with other countries it's simple our neighbor china i think china is much forward because when i have been there many places i was really surprised the reason is that we have many political parties each parties have their own selfish desire and they want to fulfill that the people's money is destroyed the nation's money is destroyed the nation's blessing is destroyed that's not in their consideration their ego and selfishness i think in this christmas when you are preparing in this land you must share this video with your political leaders small leaders or big leaders known or unknown but send this let them think about it am i destroying the talent which god gave to me with my selfishness with my selfish ambition just keep away from there let us come together to develop our nation as a great nation before ending this session i want to say the poverty is not cursed from god poverty is created by human beings either your laziness created poverty in you or some shrewd people they kept all the wealth for them they are not ready to share it with you both is wrong use the talent and if you have more share it with others that should be your decision today when you are meditating on this advent season and if you have done any mistakes in this say sorry to the lord before ending again i want to tell you my brothers and sisters our philokalia team or philokalia foundation is doing marvelous great things here in kerala many places due to landslide and flood earthquake and tsunami attack or the angry sea many people lost their house all their valuables we philokalia team is building many houses in kerala freely giving to the literally poor people homeless people in many places husband is sick or died or wife is sick or died or they both are sick and children are unable to get good education we are supporting with the education material and fee etc hundreds many people they are very sick they don't have money to buy the medicine we are freely providing medicine to those family in our office in kottayam as well as in chalukudi regularly free counseling as well as medical checkup and distribution of medicines everything is done there are many other more things you know an ambulance service completely free throughout kerala our ambulance is running we have our own liabilities and difficulty to continue this so if, when you are listening to me if you are inspired by the lord to do something for this mission you can not only that we have an inspiration our entire team has an inspiration to do the same work in other states of india too very soon we will do it with your prayers and support 
For tomorrow's reading, for tomorrow's explanation of the parable, please read Luke chapter 14, verses 15 to 24. Luke chapter 14, verses 15 to 24. Matthew chapter 22, 1 to 10. Matthew chapter 22, 1 to 10. May Almighty God bless you and peace be with you.